Okay, hey everybody, this is Jace with WMPowerUser.com, and today we want to give you um, a quick look at what we have been told, what we believe at this point is going to be the uh, release to manufacture um, of Windows 10 Mobile. This is supposed to be the build that will be. Uh, that is the official launch now um, at, at least that's what we've been told of course things can change um, this is build 10586 um, and also one thing we want to tell you guys about is that uh, this is not running on an emulator this is running on a Lumia 635 um, device let's see if I can jump right in here that for you let's go into our system we're gonna go into about Nokia Lumia 635. So this is not running on an emulator. So put an end to that speculation right now. Um, so a couple things really we want to take you through uh, really uh, the OS kind of in its entirety, at least uh, a lot of the core apps. So if we let's just start with the phone. Uh, so jumping into the phone here, you can see uh, the dial pad. Um, it's really quick. It seems that it's been uh, very, very responsive. And uh, we like... Uh, uh, I, we really like the look uh, that the phone has has undergone with the dial pad. It's actually very nice. Um, and we've also got, you can see our history right in here. And uh, of course, you can set up a speed dials right in there. The other thing we want to show you is jumping in here. Um, you can uh, set up your visual voicemail, um, which is something that you should be familiar with. Really, the interface for that hasn't changed much. It just looks uh, more modern. Uh, so let's jump right back out keep plugging along here um, and let's jump uh, right into messaging here so jumping in here um, you can see I mean it's kind of similar uh, to uh, uh, to the previous messaging I mean this is uh, the same thing in builds that um, that we've seen in the past it hasn't changed much but new with Windows 10 um, uh, they've added the ability really anywhere that there's a text field um, you can dictate um, you can di you can dictate your text um, again pretty much anywhere there's a text field you can do it in the web browser you can do it in searches uh, you can do it in messaging anywhere you can enter text you can add that so that's just something we wanted to show you and of course we have kind of the the toggle cursor right in here so we like that um, you know they've also added a couple new emojis you know kind of keeping everything current uh, keep moving along here let's look at Microsoft Edge um, Microsoft Edge I mean this browser looks completely different from anything you saw uh, in Windows Phone 8.1 and 8 and previous um, now one thing I want to note is that these buttons uh, up until this point I mean they have not been customizable I don't know if that's something uh, that they're planning on changing but uh, at the moment you actually can't customize that so that's a little bit different from 8.1 and uh, I guess you could argue it's a step backwards but at the same time uh, hitting this menu button right here we'd like this pop-up list right in here you also have your favorites your reading list your history and your downloads um, all right at your fingertip you'll also notice that these are the exact same icons that you'll see um, on Windows 10 for desktop so it's nice to have those uh, just right right there at your fingertips and if we jump right in okay so anyway uh, the browser really uh, looks quite fantastic so um, continuing to move along here let's take a look at OneDrive uh, so I mean uh, this is something uh, this OneDrive app should be uh, familiar to just about anybody um, you can see the implementation of the hamburger menu and there's a couple of other uh, locations that this has become commonplace but um, you know uh, as of late the uh, the OneDrive app hasn't really changed um, very significantly um, it's something that uh, pretty much any of us should be familiar with um, moving on with that if we jump in our mail here um, this is another area where the implementation of that has been uh, the hamburger menu has is is very obvious as you if you have multiple accounts you can switch between uh, different email accounts this really is kind of your all-in-one uh, mail hub uh, you can do it pretty much anything from there just like again just like you'd see uh, you'd expect to see in the desktop um, again you can dictate the text in there as well so we like to see that across and uh, jumping into the calendar 
Um, you can see this update has been uh, really quite significant as far as the overall look of the um, of the application. Um, it's been updated. It's really completely modernized to Windows 10. Windows 10. Uh, this has been uh, entirely updated. Of course, you have different views. Uh, you can do view just the days that you have something going on. You can view it for the week. Um, you know, several different views that you have available there, adding appointments. Um, you know, it, it's, it's about what you'd expect to see out of a, uh, you know, out of a calendar application. How much can it really vary? But uh, we just want to note that the look um, is really very unified. It looks almost uh, exactly the same as a Windows 10 desktop version. And that's really the whole point of all of these apps is, is unifying those, making them all uh, pretty much the same. So the one other thing we want to jump in is look at our photos. And uh, jumping in here, what you'll see is, I mean, obviously you have your collection. Uh, you have different options uh, to change all these uh, different things. One thing we do like is you have the option to multiple select. This is uh, in particular a feature that I've been waiting for forever, is the ability to select multiple photos and be able to attach those to a message. So instead of going into a message and attaching photos one at a time, you can finally attach multiple photos, something that, again, of uh, I don't know if you guys have been waiting for, but I've been waiting for for a really, really long time. Um, it's just it's it's such a welcome addition uh, to the Photos app. To it, it, it's just so much more convenient. I don't think I have to tell you guys any more about that. It's awesome to finally see that. Uh, so if we jump, let's jump out of these selections here. And uh, the other thing you'll see is uh, just like again on Windows 10, uh, our selection for albums and for folders. Um, we've discussed this in the past, but um, you know you get this folders view if you jump into OneDrive. Um, it's going to show you all the folders that have uh, that have pictures in them. Uh, so it's kind of nice. It's almost like having placeholders um, within uh, for photos within your Photos app. So. Uh, you know, you have your OneDrive users and things like that. It's nice to be able to share uh, photos directly from that. That experience has really been streamlined. It's really very easy. Um, so keep moving along. We're going to look at the uh, the people application right here. You can again see how this has been updated. We have uh, circle. Um, we've got circle icons as opposed to. Uh, square icons and you can you can just see how this changed it's actually um, you know changed pretty significantly from the past iterations of, of Windows uh, Windows 8 or Windows Phone 8 and Windows Mobile um, again very uh, very similar to the desktop experience so um, you know just minor uh, really really uh, UI updates making it a more modern a more modern application, um, but really that's the uh, that's the core of the uh, the operating system. It's it's been changed quite significantly. The other thing I want to show you is jumping into the start or, or into the start screen. Um, sorry, I jumped the gun there a little bit. Is obviously you can see these transparent tiles. Um, one thing that is really kind of cool that I enjoy is um, is being able to set a unique background. And also, uh, you can actually change the transparency of those tiles. Um, so let me jump right down here. Let's get stuck just a little bit. Let me go back. Go into that start screen again. Okay, tile transparency. Sorry, it wasn't stuck. My scroll wheel wasn't going. So uh, jumping into the tile transparency, like I say, is you can make those as opaque or as transparent as you want, uh, really to the point that they're pretty much, uh, I mean, this is an extreme, but jumping out, you can see how uh, the, it really starts to become just floating icons. And if that's your bag, great. Um, if not, it kind of, it leads a lot of dead space. I kind of have been enjoying kind of a happy medium uh, between the tile transparency. Um, so, you know, again, that's, that's stuff that, uh, that we like to see. One of the complaints about old versions of Windows Phone seems like it wasn't quite as personal because people, you know, they kind of felt like they were locked down ju with just the tiles when they wanted to have uh, their own unique image. Um, you know, so that's, 
again, that's more stuff that you'd see. And uh, really getting in with this uh, into the settings, diving in just a little bit, you can see, again, if you're a Windows 10 uh, desktop user, these icons are practically identical to what you would see. Uh, we like to see these devices, um, you know, connecting a mouse, USB, uh, different different Bluetooth uh, things that you have connected there. It's kind of an easy way um, instead of having to jump into, uh, you know, into your menus. It's nice to be able to have that easy, um, you know, kind of that easy method of connecting to your devices. So really that's a, that's a quick look um, at, of the operating system overall. The only th other thing I can think of really that's at the core of the OS is, uh, is the app, uh, is the app screen right here. Again, this hasn't changed uh, it very significantly. Um, you know, it looks very similar to the past versions of Windows Phone. Um, you do have the search icon at the top where we can, you know, search for whatever it is that we want. Um, but again, that hasn't changed uh, very significantly. Um, the other thing that uh, you'll notice is when you install a new app, uh, it'll have a recently installed or a new list uh, right up here in the top when you install a new application. So again, just uh, overall the OS has made it uh, stuff very a lot easier, um, a lot more accessible, less clicks, less pushing. Um, you know, is uh, is a good thing in our opinion. So again, this uh, is 10586 and should be uh, the release to the manufacturer. At least that's our anticipation. That's what we have been told uh, to this point. But of course, you know, that can change at any time. So as always, make sure you subscribe and uh, check out wmpoweredusercom for the latest news.